Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Hi, I'm Joe Gertie. I'm the uh, head cook here at Camp De La Té Beauvais. Uh, we're located on the Mud River just outside of Aiken in the, the winter of 1876-77. Aiken got its start uh, just a few years ago back in 71 and it's just growing into being a big booming riverboat town. It's the far most northern port on the Mississippi River. But back in 71 there was an even smaller village that was started oh about 30 miles west of uh, Aiken and uh, I think they call it Brainerd but It'll never amount to what Aiken's going to be because Aiken's a big booming riverboat town. But the camp got started, uh, oh, last summer where the uh, timber cruiser was hired to go out and uh, survey off the acreage that we wanted to cut the pine from. And he found this plot that we're cutting this winter. Then along about, oh, the end of August, I came into the area with the swampers and the wood butchers. And the swampers are the men that cut the logging trails through the woods down to the landing here by the camp by the Mud River where the logs were brought down and stacked all winter long. And the wood butchers are the men that put up the buildings here in camp, the filer shack, the stable, the cook shanty, the bunkhouse. Well then along about, well in November it starts freezing up, we get six to eight inches of snow, we start hiring on the lumberjacks. And in camp we have 80 men that uh, we've hired on at Camp De La Té Beauvais. And uh, I gotta feed those men, plus the men that work here, right here in the camp all winter long too. The men that we've hired, uh, a good lumberjack will get up to $30 a month. If he's a farmer that comes in off the prairie, if he brings a team of horses with him, he'll get about that much for his team of horses each month. And we have a lot of other positions available here in camp. Uh, uh, we have uh, just a few of them that I'll mention. Uh, we have uh, road monkeys. They're the men that uh, keep the logging trails clear to debris. They get about $25 a month board and bunk. And uh, some of my workers that help me here in the camp are the, they call them cookies. And they make about $25 a month helping me here in the, in the camp. Well, in the winter camp, it gets started, our day gets started where we have a guy uh, by the name of, we call him the bull cook. And about three o'clock in the morning, he has to get up and he goes and gets all the fires going in all the buildings, goes down to the stable and uh, he uh, has to feed the livestock and, and to feed the oxen, uh, he has to feed them oats. But the oxen can't eat raw oats, he has to cook the oats. So we have a big fire pit there with a big kettle and he fills it with oats and water and he cooks the oats every morning to feed the oxen. So therefore, we call him the bull cook. Then about four o'clock in the morning, he's got to go down to the bunkhouse to get the men up. So he goes down to the bunkhouse and, and he opens up the door and, and he'll stand there for a moment and uh, these men are all sound asleep, all 80 of them, and, and he's got to get them up. So he hollers, daylight in the swamp! And that was the alarm clock to get the men up. This is what the men wore all the time. They wore these uh, day and night, 24 hours a day. As the men are all getting ready down in the bunkhouse, we've been up at four o'clock in the morning down here. I've been here at four o'clock with the cookies and we've been boxing up the dough, getting it ready for breakfast. And uh, about five o'clock, when everything's ready, then I'll uh, step outside and I'll take the old Gabriel here. And I take the Gabriel and I'll step outside and I'll give it a good long blow to tell the men it's time to come up to the cook shanty to eat. When they first come into the cook shanty, they do that, then they go over to the pump over here, and there's only two parts of their body are gonna get washed all winter long. That's their face and their hands, because they gotta be clean when they come to Joe Gertie's table, okay? Well, anyway, they come in to the, and they sit down at the same spot for each meal. And uh, one of the things that we have here in camp, there's a, no talking allowed at all. And uh, the men have 15 minutes to eat and they have to eat as much food as they can and because uh, they have to keep their strength up, you know, because cutting down that pine is, is hard work. And uh, plus there's a lot of different nationalities in camp and they end up getting in fights and, you know, we just can't have that, you know, so. But we got to get them into the cook shanty, we got to get them set down, got to get them to eat. Um, if they've cleaned up their plate and they, there's still time to eat, they uh, simply uh, take their plate, 
and they'll hold it above their head like that and the hash slinger will come along and jerk some more hash onto their plate for them and they can keep right on eating. So the men have to, they get up and they go down to the filer shack and get their axe and saw and they have to be out and have the first pine coming down by daybreak. So that's how our day got started. Well, here's our menu that we had for this morning. On the breakfast menu, we had sweat pads, pork hash, cackleberries, and lagerberries. Sweat pads are, or blankets we call them, those are pancakes with a generous amount of blackstrap they pour onto the sweat pads. And pork hash and cackleberries are eggs and uh, lagerberries. Uh, we make sure the men eat their lagerberries with every meal because the diet is so heavy in starch, you know, and we can't have the men sick bound up in their bunk. They have to be out cutting down the pine. So I make sure they eat their lagerberries with every meal. That's how our morning got started. The men are out cutting down the pine right now. And so we're boxing up the dough for what we call the noon flagons. We're gonna have bull whip, which is a boiled beef, and Murphy's, which are a potato. Uh, dough god, that's, uh, this is what we call dough god. It's the camp bread, you know. We have that. And uh, along with, like I said, lager berries. To get the food out to the men though, we have a, a little sleigh, horse-drawn sleigh with a big box on it. We call the swing dangle. And the cookies pack all the food into the swing dangle and then they carry it out to the men to the dinner hole where they're cutting down the pine. And then for supper tonight, we're going to have uh, bird's eye tenderloin. And this is one of the favorites for the men. Uh, we had an oxen go down the other day and we butchered it out and still has the mark of the bullwhacker's goat on it, but that doesn't bother the men any. And then we're gonna have Murphy's, and which are potatoes, and firecrackers. Firecrackers are one of the favorites for the men. Or flannel lifters, those are beans, okay. And then uh, we're also gonna have a shoe pack pie. That's one of the favorite pies the men like. It's made of vinegar and cornstarch, sugar and water, and is flavored, flavored with vanilla or lemon extract. And then also for tonight, uh, we're also gonna have fish eggs and bear paws and uh, fish eggs is a tapioca pudding and bear paws are it's a large cookie that i make so and then of course lager berries and with each meal again it's scandahoovian blackjack and lye to wash everything down with so that's what we're going to have on the menu for tonight but that's generally how life is here in the winter camp at camp de la table bay and then around uh oh middle of april when the ice goes out and the rivers open up then the men they roll all the logs into the Mud River and they have to be floated down the river to the Mississippi. Now, the men usually get paid for a winter camp and uh, some of the men will, they go into Aiken and they're broke in a week, you know. And uh, they, uh, so they usually then will hire on to be what we call a river rat or a river pig to float the logs down the river. And uh, we float them all the way down to the sawmills in Minneapolis. It's 320 miles from the rapids down to the sawmill in Minneapolis. It takes us about 40 days. We make about eight miles a day, and, but that's the life of the, of the logger. So that's what, uh, how things have started here at Camp De La Table Bay, and uh, it's been a great pleasure working for the company and uh, good work for me, and I've really enjoyed it these many years. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.